Hey friends, I'm really happy that you want to watch this video. My name is Basti and welcome to this first video in 2021 on my channel Fossil Wildlife. And yes, if you watched my previous videos, you noticed that I changed the name of the channel. I wasn't really happy with it, so I decided to change it. I yeah, hope you like the new name as well. And if you are new on my channel, um, I do all kinds of fossil hunting or fossil preparation and fossil learning videos like this one. So feel free to subscribe uh, that you don't miss the next fossil adventures with me. And now we go to the table uh, into the other room and we see us in a second. So you see I have a lot of bones here and jaws and teeth. So let's start with the jaws. This is a mandible, the lower jaw of a horse. And we have also this jaw piece with the incisors and you can, they can fit together like this. And then uh, here would be, here would be the, the left jaw, the left mandible. So yeah, nice horse mandible. Um, ah, yeah, this one I found in the gravel pit. And you see, it's the same as here. So, on this jaw, two teeth are missing. This one and this one. So, um, that's just a fragment, but that's a whole mandible. And then, we have um, also these teeth here. They belong also to the mandible. So this one um, is like this one. This curved. And we have uh, something like this. And these teeth belong to the maxilla, to the upper jaw. And yeah, the, you see the chewing surface here. Um, really nice ones and the difference between um, the maxilla teeth and the mandible teeth are that um, these ones are much much bigger and um, the, the mandible teeth are uh, much thinner so you see this so you see the difference between them really clearly so the, these are mandible teeth and they, these belong to, to the maxilla, to the upper jaw. So let's take a look at all these bones. Um, this is a modern bone, a modern bone piece which was given to me by a friend. And we can use it as a comparative piece, um, so with the, um, uh, with the Ice Age bones. So you can study the anatomy pretty well. And yeah, this is a cannon bone, a horse cannon bone. And this is also a cannon bone here. And then we have this toe bone. This was this was fixed with some glue. And this is also the same toe bone. This toe bone is also called proximal phalanx or long pestan in the scientific language. And you can see the anatomy of the Ice Age horses and the modern horses hasn't changed much in the thousands of years. And um, then I found also the second toe bone, the middle phalanx or short pestern. It's also called in the science uh, in the scientific language. And then the hoof, the distal phalanx or coffin bone. So let's connect these bones so we can build our our leg. So you see the hoof and the two toe bones. Then we have the cannon bone as well. It's quite difficult to manage this. Yeah. So really nice piece. So let's take a look at our image. And we can see here's the um, here's the hoof with the toe bones, the cannon bones. So every horse has one, two, three, four cannon bones. And um, yeah, the leg continues with the knee and radius and the ulna bone. So let's take a look at these ones. 
I hope you can follow me and um, if you have questions let me know uh, in the comments, I will answer them all. And I know there is a lot of information, but trust me, after this video you know a lot about the anatomy and about the skeleton. So, um, the leg continues with these bones. So here's the knee, this is the knee, so these little single bones here, but I couldn't find them in the global pit. So we continue with the astragalus, with the ankle bone, and this fits to this um, calcaneus bone, to the heel bone. Um, I'm not quite sure if it's from a horse, but um, they look very similar, so it could be from bison or deer or whatever. I'm not quite sure about this, but um, just want to show you this, the, the anatomy. And they look very, quite similar, so that's not a problem. And to this astragalus, we can match this big tibia bone. So you see, they can fit easily together. So, it looks something like this. So we have, so we have the hoof, the toe bones, the cannon bone, the um, knee, the astragalus, the calcaneus bone, and then the tibia. And this is also a tibia bone I found in another gravel pit, but I'm not allowed to go fossil hunting there anymore. Um, but just want to show you this and maybe so it's this part I think so it's here and here at the end broken um, it's not complete but uh, maybe you would say that this is a modern bone isn't it but um, I can say that this is also an ice age bone because it weighs a lot yeah um, you see it has a yellow and um, pretty light color but it weighs a lot and there are different minerals um, so the bone is pretty uh, heavy and weighs a lot, so that's also an Ice Age bone. So as you can see the tibia is part of the rear legs, one of the two rear legs, and then uh, the leg continues with the femur. And I have a femur fragment, just a fragment. So this is a, a femur fragment. Um, because it's just a fragment, I can not. I'm not really sure if it's uh, from a horse or um, bison, deer, some animal like this. But it's um, for sure a femur section. And then we continue with the front legs. So let's uh, take a look at the radius and ulna bone. So that's a radius bone. And this is the ulna bone. <laughs> so they can fit together like, like this perfectly. And then the humerus. Then we have the humerus, just a fragment, but um, it's a horse humerus, which fits, fits perfectly to the other two bones. So the radius, the ulna and the humerus bone match perfectly together. So that's really cool to see. So we have um, the radius and ulna bone here at the front legs and the humerus. And then you see there is the scapula, the shoulder blade here. And this is a shoulder blade, this is a scapula of a horse and um, yeah it's here broken but that's okay just to see um, the nice scapula and then you see um, well um, scapula and then we have um, all the vertebrae the rib cage the rib cage let's continue with the rib I found also so here you see a whole rib I found in one of my first videos, so really nice preserved, and yeah, it's a whole rib. And then let's take a look at at our image. So um, 
we have the scapula, you saw the scapula piece, the shoulder blade, we have um, the rib cage, you saw one rib, and then you will see here the vertebrae. Um, I found a lot of vertebrae um, in the gravel pit of Ice Age mammals, but I'm not quite sure if it uh, if it's from a horse, if it's from a horse, a bison, uh, of a deer, um, whatever. So um, not quite sure. Um, it's quite difficult to do, to identify them. And um, if you want that, I can do another video of my Ice Age uh, mammal vertebrae collection. So I tried to show you all bones in one skeleton on the floor and um, it's a really simple presentation and reconstruction. I don't put them um, to scale but I think you can see it fairly enough and you understand it. So I took some vertebrae over here so um, yeah, it, they can be from all kinds of mammals like bisons, uh, deers and horses of course as well and yeah so we have here the um, the skull with the mandible with the incisors and um, the uh, upper jaw the maxilla with the three teeth here so here's the maxilla then we have some neck vertebrae for sure here and then we go to the scapula to the shoulder blade the humerus for sure the humerus is much much longer uh, it has length like like this um, but just it's a simple reconstruction, but I think you can understand it clearly enough. And um, here the uh, radius and the ulna bone. And then here's the knee, you know, and the cannon bone, the toe bones, and the hoof. This is really complete, so really happy with this part. And then here we have one rib, so part of the rib cage here. Um, so let's go to the rear legs so i also found one of this of these uh, toe bones and one cannon bone then we have the knee here as well and then we have this tibia bone with the astragalus and the calcaneus bone and we see there would be the femur and the pelvis for sure and um, the sacrum and yeah the whole tail here and yeah it's just really simple but um it's not a professional uh scientific uh, correctly um reconstruction of a skeleton for sure so i think there was a lot of information for you in the last minutes and um, but i want to tell you as much as possible about uh, Ice Age fossils and about paleontology in general on my channel and um, yeah hopefully you learned something about the anatomy about the skeleton of uh, Ice Age horses and yeah so don't forget to like and subscribe and we see us in the next video.